Hi everyone, I'm Audrey from First Updates Now, and I'm here with Ruby, Elwin, and Alex, here to talk about 5687 at this Week Zero event here in New Hampshire. So Alex, could you tell us a little bit about the frame of your robot? It seems to be kind of out of the ordinary. Yeah. So uh, a few years ago, uh, during one of our off-season, uh, we one of our drivers uh, realized that it was much easier to play defense and much easier to slip in between like two bots or one bot with rounded bumpers because uh, that way, in, with a rounded bumper, you can just easily slide off like that as opposed to a square, two, two square bumpers just doing a pushing match. Uh, so we used that for this year because since it's a little congested on the field and if a robot were to, if a robot were to just like shut down in the middle of where we need to go and we can't get by them uh, because we might be doing a, a, minis, like a, a kind of like pushing match, it can really get in the way. So we want to be able to slide around as fast as easily as we could. Yeah, that sounds really cool. So do you want to tell us more about your elevator? Um, yeah, so we originally started with um, rails um, that like, oh, yeah. sorry. We originally started with these rails that slid um, with these like little sliders, but it kept breaking. So now we're doing these carbon fiber tubes um, in these round bearings. And so it slides a lot easier. Um, we did have to sand them down a little bit so they slid better, but it's very thin, but it's very strong and pretty powerful. Um, and then it has some pulleys that go through. It's a cascading elevator, so it all goes up at the same time in like a nice motion. We haven't had really any issues with it going up and down at all yet, except for the climber, which is not in use yet. We also have this spring here, so its natural like way it wants to be is to be closed. So when we're not pushing it out, with um, it'll just close automatically. Um, and then we have some bungee too, some rubber. Let's talk about probably the most uh, unique part of the robot that we've seen so far in this competition, uh, the collector. Yeah, so for our ball intake, um, it actually has two sections. We have one part with rollers on the front that come, uh, takes balls up from the floor. Um, but for our actual elevator, we wanted to have as light as possible an intake so that we could be less tippy when fully extended. And we figured out that the lightest and easiest way to do this was with a suction cup. Um, and we've noticed not a lot of teams have used suction, suction cups before because they're hard to pick up from the ground. Because ours picks up already inside the robot, it's a little more consistent. So we took the impeller from a mattress inflator and a plastic salad bowl and used that as our vacuum-powered suction cup to intake our balls. Um, this then flips up, except it's on, so it's going to be difficult. Um, so we can place it on all three levels of the rocket and on the cargo bay. All right, that sounds really cool. Wish you guys the best of luck this week and in week one. It's nice talking to you.